All right, guys. This video will show you how to take a uh, non-activated Android cell phone, um, hopefully running uh, Android 2.3 or higher, so the best phone quality with that system, um, and make it into a basically a free Wi-Fi phone. So as you can see, this is not activated. I'm going to go ahead and try to get into settings here. All right, that bypasses your uh, activation screen, and uh, it's gonna not let me actually get to a network. So I'm gonna exit out of there, and we're gonna set up Wi-Fi. So we're gonna hook onto my network. Should be obtaining an IP here. All right, there we go. So now we're on a network, so we should be able to go skip this set because I don't want to do setup. We're just going to skip skip setup for now. So go to next. All right. Oops. As you can see, it's going to take a little bit. It's got to draw everything. It's the first time it's booted up. Um. So let's see what we got here. All right, there we go. Perfect. Now uh, we need to go in and first make sure we set up our Google account. So we're going to go down here to right here at the bottom, right there. It says uh, My Account. So we're going to hit that. Add an account, and then set up Google. So next, sign in. I already have an account, so we're going to go ahead and sign in. So now we're signing in. If I did this all correctly, yes. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna restore backups to this phone from my Google account. You don't have to if you don't want to. But that's what I'm gonna do. And finish. All right. So your Google account has been added. Next, we're gonna go into our app drawer, and we're gonna go down to Google Talk, which should be in here, right here. And we're just going to sign in with Google Talk. This kind of helps. Uh, You'll see later, it, it syncs your phone to everything, so, alright. It's signed in, that's all we need to do there. Um, now we need to go on the market. We're going to do a couple things. Um, alright, so accept the market. And we're going to do a search for Google... Come on, voice. All right, so go ahead and hit Google Voice and do a download of that. Three, okay. All right, your Google Voice is starting to download. Yeah, there it goes. All right, beautiful. So it's installing. We're going to back out of App Market. App Market will probably update while we're out of it. All right, and we're going to close these out. So now we're going to go down here back to our drawer and go to Google Voice. So Google Voice, hit that. Alright, so we want to hit next to set it up. We're going to hit allow. You're actually going to set up what your phone is on google.com uh, slash voice. You're going to link your personal cell phone number or your home phone to your account. So that's what you'd be picking on that previous screen. Um, on here, this is really important. You want to pick um, do not use Google Voice to make any calls. Because we're not going to use Google Voice, we're going to use Groove IP. I'll show you that next. And then hit next again to set up. Um, voicemail, we're going to skip. You can do that at, again, Google Voice. Um, or I should say Google.com slash voice. So we'll skip that configuration. And finish. Um, already been used there, so not a big deal. Uh, so, next we're going to go back to market, which I think should be updated. Yes, it is. Alright, accept these terms. 
I'm going to go down to my already purchased apps and we're going to find Groove IP right here. So we're going to install Groove IP. Install. It's doing very good. All right, open. Sign in. All right, here we go. Now that we're signed in, this is you're going to be your dialer. It comes up, you make phone calls. It's all used through Wi-Fi and Google Voice. Also, um, once we go on to uh, google.com slash voice and you log in there and then you go to settings, you want to set forward calls to, um, uh, shoot, forward calls to Google Chat, which will forward them to your, your Google Talk app, which makes this phone ring when you call this number that you have through uh, Google Voice. So that's it. I like to do this really quick and make my Groove IP icon my home one, my phone. All right, I would also uh, recommend on this uh, that you guys would go ahead and, sorry, the phone's turning off here, that you guys would go ahead and uh, in google.com slash voice to create a Google Voice number. That's how it links everything. Um, so you need to create a Google Voice number. You can pick the area code um, and part of the number prefix if you want. Um, but again, in Google vo google.com slash voice, in settings, you want to hit um, forward calls to Google Chat. So once you have that set up on your computer, also the only way to do that is through the computer. If you try to do it on your phone, it's going to bring it to the mobile version of the site, and that's not what you want. So make sure you do it on your on your actual computer. Um, but once you have those settings set up, you should be able to make phone calls um, with Groove IP app, receive phone calls with Groove IP app, um, and then if you want to text that number that you've created through Google Voice, um, you can text it, and you can send text from it by using the, uh, let's see here, by using the Google Voice app and you could just go into the Google Voice app sorry pushing the wrong buttons here and uh, go in there and then you can just hit uh, compose and then you can type in two and what your message is and um, just two is a number or a contact name and uh, then you can send text and receive text so also if you get a voicemail it's really cool it's like visual voice um, you actually uh, you actually get a recording that you can just push play on, in Google Voice app and re listen to it um, so it's, it's pretty sweet and it actually sometimes even dictates it if it if it's a clear enough message so you can read it too so pretty nice uh, features so all that now anytime you're on Wi-Fi with this uh, non-activated Android phone you can make phone calls and text messages you can use all the other features on the phone um, check Facebook anything else you want to do just everything works off Wi-Fi so pretty much wraps it up thanks